Welcome to History's Remnants, where we tour antique malls and resale shops looking for history and oddities. Today we are visiting the El Paso Antique Mall in El Paso, Illinois. El Paso is a small town in central Illinois that is home to a little under 3,000 people. Its main claim to fame is being the last municipality in the contiguous United States to change from a manual telephone system that required an operator to connect calls. Do you know what this thing is? Stick around to the end of the video to find out. This device, Man's Green Bone Cutter, was invented in the late 1800s to grind bones to add to animal feed. It was found that supplementing hens' diets with ground bone improved the shells of the eggs by making them harder. Before the Industrial Revolution brought tractors to our farms, plows like this were used to till the fields. They were pulled by animals like horses or mules and guided by the handles by a farmer. Fields wouldn't have been as large as they are now and would take multiple days to plant. Kerosene lamps like these were popular before electric power was widely available, and modern versions are still used in camping and restaurants like Cracker Barrel for ambience. Theodore Geisel, also known as Dr. Seuss, originally published The Cat in the Hat in 1957. Since then, it has been adapted to a feature-length cartoon, a 2003 movie starring Mike Myers, and a cartoon show featuring the titular cat and a pair of children experiencing adventures while their mother is away. The 1950s are considered the golden age of television, with westerns used as a staple. Shows like Gunsmoke and The Roy Rogers Show dominated network programming until the rise of the space race in the 1960s. What? Me worry? The satirical magazine Mad was founded in 1952 as a comic that later transitioned to a magazine. This game, featuring Mad's mascot Alfred E. Newman, was originally manufactured in 1979 and included counterintuitive rules like a player must roll the dice with the left hand and pawns must move counterclockwise. WrestleMania II was held on Monday, April 7, 1986, across three venues. Matches included Hulk Hogan vs. King Kong Bundy and Mr. T vs. Rowdy Roddy Piper, and guests were a who's who of the 80s, Bears 85 Super Bowl champion William Refrigerator Perry, Joan Rivers, Ozzy Osbourne, and Elvira. This American game show has been hosted by Alex Trebek since 1984 and is the only post-1960 game show to be honored with the Peabody Award. What is Jeopardy? Jeopardy now has versions in many other countries including Germany, Sweden, and Russia. In 1995, O.J. Simpson was charged with the violent murders of his ex-wife Nicole and her friend Ron Goldman. What resulted was commonly known as the Trial of the Century. 
The board game seen here was part of a 100 unit run. Not enough money was raised and the game never made it to mass production. Barack Obama and Spider-Man may seem like an unusual pairing, but in this comic published in 2009, Spider-Man thwarts an evil villain trying to sabotage Obama's inauguration. Grandpa Rossi, David Ross, was a member of the Cubs 2016 World Series team, and although he retired as a player, he continues to work with the team as an ambassador, appearing on Dancing with the Stars and making it to the final three, and attending other events on behalf of the team. In 1982, the World's Fair was held in Knoxville, Tennessee. Its symbol and key feature was the Sun Sphere, a 266-foot tall tower topped by a 75-foot gold-colored glass sphere. After the fair closed, the sun sphere was closed and either vacant or underutilized until 2007 when it was reopened to the public and 2008 when businesses moved into several floors. Shirley Temple started acting in 1932 at the age of four and retired in 1950 at the age of 22. And in that 18 years, she appeared in 44 feature films and 19 shorts. From 1934 to 1942, the Hazel Atlas Glass Company and U.S. Glass Company produced millions of cobalt blue glass dishes with her likeness that were given away as premiums for Wheaties and Bisquick. This 1968 Jim Beam decanter is designed to look like a San Francisco streetcar. This little guy is the mascot for Taco John's, a Mexican-inspired restaurant that was founded in Cheyenne, Wyoming, in 1969 and has restaurants in 27 states. Perry Como, singer of Moon River and Papa Loves Mambo, started his career as a 14-year-old singing barber. The crooner went on to star in multiple television shows and movies and sell so many records that he reportedly asked his record company, RCA, to stop counting. Although Paul Stanley's Kiss stage character is known as Star Child, he was almost someone else. For a few shows in 1973, he performed as the Bandit with a painted-on Lone Ranger-style mask. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Alka Seltzer was launched in 1931 to soothe tummies and other minor aches and pains. Animated spokesperson Speedy appeared in over 200 Alka Seltzer TV commercials between 1954 and 1964 and was brought out of retirement in a CGI form in 2010. And now the moment that everyone has been waiting for. This is a retail display for spools of thread. Spools would be sorted and stacked between the rods and the number would indicate the color. Oh, my 
Thanks for watching History's Remnants, and remember to like and subscribe, and join me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest for between-the-scenes content.